I've been wanting to make this video for like two months now. Finally, we're complete. I'm so happy. Also, I'm making merch in the very near future of all the characters, putting them on some sweatshirts, maybe even this character. But smash the like button, it helps out the channel. Let me know what you think. This is a nostalgic one for me, so please enjoy. Look what I got. Wow. So, ladies and germs, this is actually the first canvas I ever did. And it was in 2014. Actually, if you go on my Instagram account and go way to the bottom, you'll see this picture posted and it says Brain Sam, which it is the first brain character I ever did. And it also says hashtag first canvas. Wow. And another kind of crazy thing is that painting has never been in the studio before. It's been in my room on my wall because it's like my prized possession, but I've never brought it to the studio. So it's kind of like meeting its cousins, its relatives for the first time, which I think is interesting. Hello, nice to meet you. And I would, I'm <laughs> just kidding, obviously. I'm not gonna hang this up. I'm just, I have it here because I'm gonna recreate this uh, um, original character. This character I've based so much other work off of, you know, my uh, other like signature character, the Brain Sam. But this was like the OG OG. And like, I don't wanna toot my own horn, but this is just my personal accolades and how I measure myself. But this was like so beyond my years of my abilities and like what I, like when I made this, I was so flabbergasted even today, like obviously, I think my work now is cleaner, it's it's evolved, but this back then in 2014 was like light years ahead of what I thought I could do. It was all spray paint. I've documented all my work since then, so I'm showing you footage and clips. But you know, I replicated this uh, exactly with an, a smaller acrylic painting, but you know, I love to look back, I love going back, and we're gonna just, we're gonna do another rendition based off this character. So it is gonna be different, but it's gonna be based heavily off this character. I'm so amped. I've already drawn a digital painting of it. All right, we gotta slow it down, take our time. But I wanna hang this up. It's a loose piece of canvas. It was originally stretched, but I unstretched it to roll it up to bring it to college. But I wanna hang this up. I got a pretty clever idea. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Talk about ingenuity. Look at that, that's pretty sweet. I gotta take some nice shots of this. Just so, sandpaper. We're here, we're amped, I'm amped. We digitized the original um, drawing, put it on the iPad into Procreate, and my agenda with doing renditions, especially for this one, is to change the character, but really keep the essence of it, especially for this original character, one of my original, original first canvases. I really wanted to keep the essence, so we kept the same eyes, the same mouth, the nose is basically the same, all we really changed is the shape of the face. And when doing these digital characters on the iPad, similar to the stencil projects, my main agenda and goal is to really create this flow and achieve this balance within the character. But I think I did a great job. I really am amped with this cartoon version um, that I'm gonna put on the canvas. And it really looks, if you know Yu-Gi-Oh, like uh, a, a normal character, the original, and then a Toon character, like the Dark Magician Girl, and then the Toon Dark Magician Girl. I have a huge crush on the Dark Magician Girl. I wanna marry her. But so we put it in the iPad, it's all flushed out, we put it onto the canvas, and then for the brain, building the brain, I've done these a lot, I like to do it in person with a pencil in my hand, and we sketched that out, and then we put that into the iPad, and I realized once I finished it on the iPad that it was too small and detailed compared to the rest of the face. The rest of the face with this version, this newer version is very simple, it's big flowy shapes, the brain was too detailed and I wanted that to match so we're gonna go back and I'm gonna make the brain simpler with bigger shapes to kind of match the flow of the other face. And we're absolutely grooving. I thought about this project for a while and I'm taking it more seriously than other improvised fun characters so that's why I put it on the iPad first to do a full kind of preparatory drawing to know what I'm getting into once I'm on the canvas, but it's all on the canvas. The brain's all sorted out. We're gonna get into it now with some color and similar strategy to the stencil project. I'm gonna not really be blending. I'm not gonna be using spray paint and stencils, but acrylic paint to kind of fill in the individual shapes of the values. It's kind of like coloring a coloring book because I've laid the outline out, but the real awesome epic part I'm excited for is the end, the outline with the spray paint. We're gonna do some craziness. It's gonna be great.
So we're absolutely rocking and rolling. This project is very similar to the stencil projects I do. You know, the order of operations and strategy are very similar, but instead of spraying the different layers of different values, I'm just painting them in with acrylic. This step in terms of difficulty level is very low, but the tedious level is very high. You just gotta sit and put in the hours. It's also a little challenging mixing the paint to get the values nailed. You know, um, you wanna mix enough so that you don't have to go back, remix paint, and then lose the exact color. But I'm moving on to the eyes and mouth, which are purple and pinks and I got colors I'm gonna mix them around and we're amped and then at the end we're gonna do the spray painted part which I'm pretty nervous about I think it's gonna be awesome and epic but there's a high room for error I think in that stage but we'll cross that bridge when we get there Also, I've been working on some merch. I've been digitizing all of my past paintings and characters. I have this one. I want to put them on sweatshirts, on long sleeve shirts, t-shirts, prints. Take this poll to let me know what you want to see these crazy characters on. I'm so excited. I've been working on it for a while. People have been asking in the very near future. Just wanted to tease it a little. I'll keep teasing and I'll do more polls. So if you see them on the channel, take them. They'll help me out. And I just outlined the brain so I wouldn't lose these forms instead of going in and painting all the different little squiggly lines. I can kind of do a full thing of green, see the outline underneath, then do the dark and light. Hopefully saving a little time. The best part ever. Boom! I'm super hyped with this background, the yellow bleeding into the orange, the sun-kissed effect, similar to the original. And the reason why I did the background before the outline, the order of operations, I'm gonna be using the tiny pink stencil cap to do the outline. I'm throwing it way back, not just kind of keeping, you know, the, the, the essence of the character, but actually the technique in which I achieved the outline for the original was with a stencil cap. Not this stencil cap, but a, an original stencil cap. This one is just a bit newer, it's nicer, it's cleaner. But, you know, I could achieve, if I wanted to achieve a super perfect outline, I could use a paintbrush, just like the stencil projects I've done. I've done dozens of these paintings and I can really get a, a beautiful clean line, but I don't want that here. I want this kind of 
textured splattered effect. I've used this tool on the skull mural and it has this beautiful kind of splattery outline. It's still very clean, but that's the desired effect I want to do just like the original canvas. But I'm a little nervous because it, it, it is a, a bit more challenging. I think I'm going to mess up a few times and the, the margin of error is higher, but I think if I can be slow and kind of execute that well, it's going to be super beautiful and that's what I'm doing. So we're going to give it a shot. You look at that we're all finished i'm so excited and you know the original character is from 2014 the original sam brain my first canvas but also really the first character in kind of my world of characters it's just amazing to look back and see how that one project really you know influenced so much of my work from 2014 on now six years 2020 i'm still doing super similar things but you know i've definitely evolved that style i was super happy to do this rendition i've been thinking about it for a while actually and i'm just amped with it i think it looks beautiful it, it has the essence of the original character but it's also brought up to the 2020 version of my style my cleanliness you know the flow all the shapes it's beautiful I think at least. And I'm glad I went with the spray painted outline. It wasn't the most clean um, thing I could have done. It's very fuzzy and, and it was really it was really challenging, honestly, but that's what I wanted to do and I'm glad I did stay true to the original techniques of the original canvas. I could have done the outlining version with a paintbrush like the stencil projects, but I'm glad I went through with it. I think it looks awesome. I'm super hyped. This is uh, a project that I was really happy with the video as well. So throw it a like, follow me on Instagram, to stay tuned with everything in the studio. I post updates on Instagram and comment what you think about this project, what you wanna see. Do you wanna see this character on some merch? Who knows? I read all the comments, that's a fact. And it's a good place to strike up a conversation. But that's all I got. Um, two videos a week, booyah.